Hi everyone, I'm Shay Adam with IMSA Radio and RadioLamal.com and I am your IHE podium predictor pundit to beat for the Michelin Challenge at VIR this week for the IMSA series. So let's waste no time whatsoever. Please forgive my voice by the way, I will say that. I feel a little bit sick after Road America. Nothing that Muskoka won't be able to fix. Enough of that, let's move on to GTD picks, shall we? Audi are always strong at VIR. They won a race this year at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, which is a very similar track to VIR, 2.5 miles and 10 turns for CTMP versus 17 turns officially, and 3.27 miles for VIR, but they're both described like riding a roller coaster. Lawson finished second here last year. Andrews won twice at VIR in Grand Am. That was 2008-2009. I see the 57 getting a win tier one, but not an easily earned one. They're going to have a lot of competition from the second place finishing cars. That would be the 63 of Scuderia, of course, Ferrari. They are fast and consistent. Look at this season they're putting together again. They won the championship last year, did Christina Nielsen and Alessandro Balzon. The team won it the year before with Townsend Bell and Bill Sweetler, and they won it two years before that in Grand Am as well. They know how to win a championship. It's consistency. They're going to do that again this weekend. Both drivers have finished second, although not on the podium together in second. I think that they do that this weekend at VIR. And rounding out the podium, the 48 of uh, Paul Miller Racing, Brian Sellers and Madison Snow, they did flag to flag last year, got the pole, won the race. Home team, it's a home track for these guys, the dealership is not too far away. I see them coming out really strong, they know what the hardware looks like from last year, they've already got the trophy, they'd like to match that. Although, don't see them winning again this weekend, gotta say. If you think I'm wrong, go ahead and predict that, but uh, I see them still getting to the podium. Fast lap for GTD. 93, plain and simple. Michael Shank Racing Acura had a really rough time at uh, Road America. A little bit of redemption for that whole MSR team. Alrighty, so who's going to win the race overall? Well, you're going to have to wait a, just a minute for that. Let's start from the back to the front of GTLM. It's really, really hard for me to pick GTLM. Only, only the 912 drivers have not stood on the podium at v Virginia International Raceway. And you know why that is? Because they've never started there before. Bruni and Vlan and Fans were both zero starts. Really happy to see Reese Competizione coming back this weekend. They've been very, very much missed. And guys, we are so happy to have you back in the series. They're not my pick for the third place finish, though. That car is going to be the 25 BMW, Alexander Sims and Bill Opperlin. Now, if you remember the race last year, you already know what I'm talking about. If you don't, find on social media a picture of what happened because the 25 BMW lost its roof in practice. Very, very odd incident. It was Dirk Werner who drove the car at the time, and more on that in a second. But uh, the roof came flying off. I see a little bit of redemption for those guys as well. They're going to make it up to the podium. Continue their strong attempt on this championship. GTLM is not over yet. Although it's the 3 and the 66, right around the 25, they'll get closer to them this weekend. But they won't pass them just yet. Second in GTLM, previously mentioned uh, Dirk Werner. He had a really rough time last year driving along, enjoying his time, and all of a sudden, oh, it's very bright. He's going to get redemption this weekend in the second place. I see he and Patrick Pile, both of whom have won at this track before. Dirk was back in 2007. Pile, a couple years ago with Nick Tandy, that great picture of him getting out, giving Bib a big hug. Uh, I see them getting second this weekend. Again, inching closer to that championship battle, but not enough to try and upset Corvette Racing before the end of the season comes along. So, who's going to win? Well, I am a really big believer in racing karma. Last year, the GTLM champions Tommy Milner and Oliver Gavin in the four Corvette finished every race except one. Can you guess which one that was? Yep, it was Virginia International Raceway. So if you don't believe in racing karma, look back at what happened in Long Beach this year. Tommy Milner and Oli Gavin lost that race last year on the final turn. They finished second, they felt devastated. Well, this year, they had a controversial contact, opened the door for them to win, leaving them feeling puzzled but delighted. I'm expecting that a race that ended for a big crash with Ollie Gavin last year has him taking the checkered flag and celebrating with the four crew. And let's face it, they haven't had a whole lot of reasons to celebrate so far this year. For the fastest lap, all of the cars in GTLM this weekend have a previous podium finisher at VAR in them. Surprisingly, for the 67 car, our fast lap car, it's not Richard Westbrook. He has not stood on the podium at Virginia National Raceway. I can see him jumping in the 67, second half of the race, ripping out a lap that beats the pole time even. So those are my IHE podium predictions. If you think you can beat me, and let's hope you can, because that's how you win all sorts of great prizes, go to www.podiumpredictor.com and register your guesses. Good luck, and let's go sports car racing.